Hey, welcome back and let's draw uh, Wolverine, Hugh Jackman and uh, this is requested by one of you guys and this one, I found this image is pretty cool uh, it's got some very dramatic lighting and it's got uh, the nice side lighting the expression is cool, it's got a little bit of a mean face and some facial hair so a real mixture of uh, I guess different elements so let's see how this one turns out alright so I am using a 10B here and for this kind of drawing, um, the first thing I always like to do is draw a line for the slant of the face. So let's just say something like this. And then roughly I'll go, let's see, let's try maybe this size. I'm not going to draw too big. Maybe this is a good medium size. So this would be the eye level. And then coming down to the, the jaw line here. And then this would be the chin. And then to measure, uh, let's see, let's establish the center line here. Okay, so the nose is going to be right in the middle of this. Let's see, if we were to divide up this space here from the eye to the chin, his nose is right about halfway but lower. So halfway will be here, lower will be around here. So I can make a little mark, let's say this would be the nose line. And then let's see, if we were to measure the lip, if we come down, So if we measure halfway of this, slightly higher would be the bottom of the lip. So this would be the lip line right there, roughly. Okay, let's just see if that one works out in terms of measurement. Okay, so now that we have, uh, let's see, the nose, let's go ahead and draw in the eye. So let's just say somewhere right here. So this is going to be, that looks a little bit too long, isn't it? Yeah, the measuring of the face is very tough. Okay, let's try a little bit lower. See so if I look at the angle from the nose. If I go up like this, I should meet the eye, the corner of the eye. So let's try that. Here, here, here. So again, lightness, very hard to draw. Um, probably better if you just trace, but let's just try it out. Okay, so let's see jaw, the cheek, coming down, mustache, we can use that obviously for placement. This one's darker right here. Let's see. Okay, maybe this is not too bad. So here, uh, the awesome rim lighting. Here's the nose. Another corner here. So I'm just sketching in the, the lighting right here. This is gonna come down and then the beard. Let's come back up here. Here's the corner of the eye. If I go up at this angle, I should hit the the eyebrow and it's going to come down well, it's starting to look like a face but if it looks like you or not that's a different story Okay, let's see. Well, the eyes are the most important. I mean, if the eyes look correct, yeah, hopefully that'll make up for the uh, lightness. Okay, I see a nose gonna come down here. I'm just trying to shadow. This is like a shadow area right here. Nose, let's see, corner. There's the wings of the nose. See, I now see my left. I think this eye slanted right. It's always the way I'm standing here. So it's a little bit too high, I think. Okay, let's just go with it. So here is the nose. Okay, 
Okay, and dramatic lighting on the nose. This part's really cool. I'm just drawing that, so this is going to be a terminator right here. Some rim lighting on the side as well right here. Okay, and then let's see, let's go ahead and draw on the lip. I think it looks okay. Um, let's just see what the, some shading. Now the lip, kind of, there's a little angle here because we are uh, seeing the head from slightly, slightly higher, not eye level. One piece here. Okay, let's see. All right, let me frame this. It's a very wide cheekbone here. This comes out. And here's the, the lighting. It's going to come down here. Here's the ear, comes up here, above the eye. Again, we're seeing it from the uh, from higher up, so that's why the ear is all the way up here. And then the hair, okay, that's easy. Okay, so I think we have, I don't want to sketch too, too much or else it's kind of boring to watch, right? Okay, so very angular lines. Uh, this is almost like comic book style. And I mean, angles are good, you know, because they're a little bit easier to draw and we can always round things out. Okay, so let's, let's go with this. Uh, all right, doesn't look like it's too slanted. So, all right, so let's start on the eye. I always like to start on the darkest part. One line here first. Here's the eyeball. Pupil. And then give it one shade. Look at the highlights right here. So the middle part here is going to be darker. That should give us a little bit of a highlight. Um, it's not that bright on this side. Then the brow, got to draw on the brow. Nice mean looking brow. So I'm at, I am using a 10B, so it'd be kind of rough, I guess. All right, and then let's see. Yeah, this part is really cool. I really like this, this eye area right here. This should be a lot of fun. So here's the highlight here. A little bit highlight here and it gets really dark here because of the cheekbone kind of fades out comes all the way down here and then it gets a little bit harsher down here because this one's a little bit sharper this area flattens out shading here So this part is darker, and then here's the nose. Yeah, I'm just going all over the place. That's okay, let's just keep going down here. <laughs> this nose is cool right here, the lighting on this. Okay, so this part's dark. Yeah, catch this rim lighting right here. Here's the terminator on the nose. So highlight right here. So I'm going to shade this dark. There's another highlight right here, so I'm going to leave that. And again, if I can't, then I can always go back with the eraser. So not a big deal, but it's nice to be able to keep the white 
without the eraser. There is a, a highlight here, all the way up here. Okay, so this part is going to be dark. Trying to be a little bit slower, a little bit more deliberate. Here. This is a ball right here. That's why this part is lighter. As it hit, hits the uh, some of the light here. So this part right here is darker. Because the lighting is up here somewhere. So it's shining down. So you envision a ball right here. This would get lighter. This would get darker. And then because of the obviously the rim lighting on the side here, you get this other highlight. And then underneath the eye here, just a little bit of uh, the eyelashes. Now the white of the eye, this right underneath the lid is usually dark, right? Because it's casting the shadow on the eyeball. So that should be a little bit darker. And, um, you know, I learned this in photography a long time ago. Uh, if you ever want to see the lighting of the, um, how this is lit, you just look at the eyeball because that ref um, reflects everything. So you can see where the highlight is. You can see the type of uh, lighting they use. You know, sometimes you can actually see like a little uh, bar right here they use for bounce lighting and things like that. So if you ever want to know about how the lighting setup is, just look right in the eyeball. You'll see everything there. Very useful because I do like photography. So, okay, let's see. Okay, this is looking okay. Kind of looks like him, I think. All right, before I go up more, uh, let's work on this side. I don't want to just work like half, half of the face, which you can, by the way. Um, sometimes I do do that because it's just you know it won't get all messy. Okay, so let's see, come across here, the line. Again, this is kind of sharp. So here's the highlight right there. Here's the pupil, it's dark, and then let's just kind of shade around it. Hopefully I can keep that white there, really small. Okay. Right, that kind of works. Hi. Again, here is let's see the. Well, here's the uh, the bag underneath the eye going down to the cheekbone. I mean, here's the ball. So again, the highlights here. So this part gets a little bit darker. So this is round. Might have actually missed this pretty bad, but okay, let me erase that. Should be here. Yeah. Okay, so there's a highlight right here coming down here. So this part of the nose a little bit darker. There's usually white in here because um, in that area is yeah, very tricky sometimes because it's so small. That needs to be white. Okay, and then the brow. Let's work a little bit more here. We get some of this lighting over here. A little bit flatter here, uh, less dramatic. So you come down here. There's a highlight right around here, but not that bright. Yeah, you see if I draw in these lines, it would actually help, you know, high circling the uh, where the highlights are. 
or so I'm doing it now, so it's a little bit messy. Yeah, and I'm missing some of the areas. It's a highlight right here. This eyeball looks a little strange. Could be the stare. Dark on this side. Yeah, I think this side is a little bit better. Um, I think the, I don't know, the dramatic lighting sometimes makes it a little bit easier to draw. Okay, so this up here. So this will go up. Air. Air. Facial hair. Just drawing the nose. Let's come down here. So this would be, I guess, the first pass. I know. I know things are still off right here. Need some more shading, but let's continue down. We can always come back. Let's make sure this, you know, the features are in first. Okay, and then let's see. So the facial hair should be cool. Um, obviously, we're not going to draw all those little things. So I'm going to just block things off. Like this is darker here. Just draw a block first. So this part even darker down here. So that kind of helps me set the, the tone here a little bit more. And then now for the lip. But right here is dark, so I'll just shade that in first. Here's the line. The shape of the lip here. So again, the lighting is up top, so the, the upper lip, because it's facing down, will be a little bit darker. It's a little bit of shadowing here on the lower lip. And then here is the bottom of the lip right here. So this part is kind of light. Okay, and then let's come down here. And I'm using this direction here. Hopefully I can, by doing that, you know, you kind of, you, you're using, I'm using my strokes to indicate, you know, facial hair. So that kind of helps. So like here, I can just go like this, just follow along where the, uh, the direction of the hair. So here, let's see, it comes down here. This part right here, it's a little bit more complicated because uh, as it comes down, there's a little bit of highlight right here. That's the jawline, and then here's the neck. So you kind of want to leave, leave this um, highlight there because it is very important. My voice is cracking up. Let's be the allergy. So I do need to draw some of this then. Okay, so here's the yeah, this area looks like it's touched up or something. Looks kind of strange. Okay, so here is the neck. And the only reason I'm drawing this is now is because it, it helps to pop this out, which is kind of nice. This is black. Okay, so let's come back up here. Here is more facial hair. Let's see, all right, this part's cool. Um, so right here, here's the side of the mouth. It's a little bit highlight here on the facial hair. This part's dark because of the lighting here. So this is dark here. And now this part, 
let's see, hard fades out on the terminator, and then right here, this looks like it's sinking in. This will make his face look a lot meaner. Facial hair. This part's a little strange right here. I guess the hair is kind of softening up the uh, the shadow on the side. So right here, I can't tell if it's just hair. Assume this is hair. Okay, yeah, and then the ears on the back, so. Okay, so let's ignore that for now. It's not as important. But this shading right here is cool. This, this shading is very important right here. So as it comes up, here is the Terminator. This, this forehead area. See the hair, so the forehead. So the four, uh, let's see, highlight, well here's the hair, let me put that in for a quick. The shadowing of the hair right here. Here's the highlight. There's some here and then obviously in the middle here because of the expression. So this could get a little bit messy right here. So there's one here. Let's get this decrease right here, right in the middle. Here comes up. So right now I'm just drawing the lines first, and then um, we have to fade it out because like right here, I said this is really deep right here, but it fades out here, so we need to smooth that out. Because if you don't, it's gonna look really unnatural. Like you have lines on the on your forehead. That's one of the very tricky things about creases. Um, you really have to pay attention and fade things out. So right here, this is really deep, very deep here, and then it's gonna fade up, smooths out. Okay, so it looks a little bit more natural. I know this is probably a little bit too thick, but okay, we'll just go with it. But this top part here is important. This is what you need to be aware of. Okay. All right, let's see, I'm stepping back. Okay, kind of looks like him, right? All right, not too bad. I was expecting worse. All right, so let's, fade, uh, let's add in this hair right here. So I'm just do some general shading and I can always come back and I know it's got some lot of curls, so I can just do these wiggly shapes. Fades out here. Again, this is harder. I'm going to exaggerate that right here. This is important. So right here is like a band, right? You see, like a band, dark, and then this is this part still a little bit darker. Down here, here's the highlight. And then all the hair, okay. These parts are easy. You know, we want to keep the focus in here, so it's okay if this is a little bit rougher. Hair. Well, the hair is kind of crazy, but well, I might draw some of that later. But the obviously, yeah, you know, the, the face is more important, so let's just concentrate on that. Okay, so I guess this would be just one or two passes. So now I can come in 
and let's clean things up. I probably need to sharpen up my pencil too. All right, I'm back with a uh, slightly sharper pencil. Uh, let's see. Let's concentrate. Well, let's add some more detail to this eye. Um, let's keep working this way. I'm really getting a lot of allergies lately. Okay, so I'm gonna start here. This is dark. Starts to fade down. Kind of smooths around here. And then let's add some more detail to the eye right here. Hopefully I can get that expression. So this part right here is slightly darker. And then the brow is very dark and that's gonna help, definitely help with the expression. Even darker down here. In here, yeah, it looks like it's really dark. Corner of the eye, let's see the inside right here. Corner of the eye, oh, there's actually a, uh, it's kinda nice to keep this like, a little bit of highlight there. And then this part's really dark. Nice deep brow. Okay, the nose right here, this part's dark. Here's the terminator again. So now I'm just, you know, paying a lot more attention to the details with a sharper pencil and it's a lot of those subtle lighting like here slightly darker here a little curvature this comes down and then there's one more right here shadow the nose coming down here back here again fades out Try to keep this uh, line here. So we're coming, coming down, coming down, flans out, and then it tightens up again, slightly darker, and then this is very hard. And then there's more detail down here. Yeah, this part of the face is definitely my favorite here. In terms of lighting. Here. I'm turning my pencil because I need to get that really sharp edge. So as I'm drawing, I'm just turning, 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 turning. Okay, so let's see. The eyeball part needs a little bit more detail, just a little bit harder lines. Okay, and then let's work here. Um, I know these are smaller detail, but I kind of want to clean up some of the, the creases here. So I, what we talked about, you know, trying to get these forms right here to be more natural. Here's a little bump here. Crease down here. Very small. This comes across, this goes up. Let's see if I can smooth things out. Highlight here, it sinks. The skull uh, right in the middle right here, it kind of sinks in slightly. So that's why this part is slightly darker. Okay, so this ball just sinks in and it comes back up. It's very subtle, but again, we're now, now we're at a stage where we're looking for, you know, the smaller details. This eyebrows part a little too wide. Stab that out. And we can add a little bit of this texturing here for the skin. 
now very minor. Okay, so this side is looking better. Now we're going to work on this side. So at this point of the drawing, um, what I like to do is like if I'm doing it, you know, just, just sketching like this, just turn on the radio, you know, something and just, just kind of space out and draw this. Because at this point, you know, all the, um, I guess, uncertainty of the face is, is gone. We know what we're doing now. It's like we know what we need to do. And it's just a little, sometimes it's a little bit more tedious work, but then if it's something that you really like to draw, it's just, you can keep going for hours and hours. That's why you got to find the subjects that you guys like, whatever it is. And you guys can always give me suggestions or I can, I can try drawing those things as well because I do tend to draw, you know, mostly like faces and especially female uh, figures and things like that. You guys have any suggestions? Yeah, please let me know because it kind of forced me to do other things, which would be great. <laughs> I should draw a flower next. I was thinking about doing a flower. I guess that's something different. Okay, so the eyeball here, again, more detail. Comes down. Now these little um, shading here, you know, you can exaggerate it because it is a drawing. And by ex exaggerating, I think it actually looks better. It comes across a little bit easier to see. Here, another line here, it's got some bags. Eyebrow here. There's a little bit, this area right here, uh, it's lighter, and that's pretty important because that's going to help get the, you know, the, the glare of the eye. It almost feels like it's popping out. Just little things to help with the expression. This slight highlight here, again, very small details. And then, so right here is darker, so I can exaggerate that. See, it still looks okay. You know, we can make this darker. So we can get this highlight. So now we're back up here. Let's try to, yeah, let's get this crease here. Okay, yeah, it looks okay. I mean, I could get some more detail if I use, I come in here with a 6B or something. I mean like a 4B. Smooth things out a little bit more, but let's not do that. It's too tedious. Let's, uh, let's see, it's mostly done. I'm just coming down here. Let's finish up some of this area right here. Because what I'll do is I'll, with the camera off, I'm just going to put my head over the paper. And then try to fix some of the glaring mistakes and just kind of keep, um, you know, grinding like this. Get things more accurate and let's see how far I can, how far I can push it. So the nose right here, uh, too, the rim lighting is on the side right here, so this is important as well. Right here. 
right here slightly darker and then right here uh see this is a little bit darker as well so now you can you kind of feel the nose more by having this ridge right here this is like a cylinder Another lip. Okay, so well, let's see. Let's draw a little bit more of the facial hair then. I was going to call it quits. But let's add in some hair. This could be a little bit fun. Little details. Let's see. It's the mouth right here, this side is darker, so I need to shade that in. Okay, not too exciting. Small details. I might draw in some of the, the the neck area too, so I can help frame this. Probably not the claws. So it's gonna be too much small small little details. All right, very cool. Yeah, thanks for suggesting this. So much stuff to draw that you know. It's a lot of things I don't I don't totally forgot about. And I do love this character Wolverine, and the Logan movie was just awesome. It was just like that's definitely my uh, favorite X Men uh, movie. I actually worked on the first X Men. Some special effects, but but the uh, the Logan movie, yeah, that was cool. It was just like. It's so dark, it's actually kind of depressing. It's like, especially seeing uh, Xavier, you know, it's like Captain Picard is one of my favorite characters. Patrick Stewart is awesome. Just seeing him playing that, uh, that feeble character, which is kind of depressing. But it was a really good movie. Okay, so I think this one actually kind of looks like him, so that's good. Um, maybe because his features are angular. It looks like the lip needs to go toward this way, so now I can see it now. All right, so uh, that's it, and uh, yeah, I'll definitely continue this. Um, just continue the same kind of shading, just adding more element, and hopefully just frame everything and you know make it more of a completed uh, piece other than just a quick tutorial. All right, so I'm back and this is the final drawing um, So where we left off I just added more the hair and part of the challenge was to how can I frame this? Uh, to make it you know more of a finished piece So I just add in the claws and made it almost more of a design element, you know And then you know just kind of shading the background somehow to so that I have a more I guess finished piece Right, so that's always a challenge, you know, to go from drawing to like how can we present it in a more creative, uh, creative way. Uh, so this will be the final piece, and thanks for suggesting this. And I will see you next time.